Previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver. What do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just, just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way. Damn it. You get your asses over here. Both of you. We have to go! You could have saved him! How could you just leave him? miles left, I think. Ain't shit. <sighs> hey, you getting up? Good. just killed you. You're either stupid as fuck or you think you're tough shit. Or both, I guess. I need a ride. You got a ride. You willing to work for it? I got needs. You know what I'm saying? I'm just fucking with you, man. Okay. So you have some balls on you just standing there like that. You get killed eventually. Ain't none of my business. I won't... What's your name? Russell. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? It's mine. I didn't steal it. All right, good. I don't like thieves. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on. Scoot. I ain't gonna wait forever. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to ride. That'd be good. Thanks. 
Hell yeah, get in, let's tear it up. I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she likes to party? Just get in, we'll get there. Or somewhere, eventually. My name's Nate, by the way, thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Here you go. Shit, ain't it? Hell of a kick, but it takes the edge off. You'll get used to it. Actually, I think that's it for me. I'm good. All right, fine. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? You must have been with a crew. Any tailback where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. Just drive. We? Oui. You want to sit on my lap? I just don't want to talk. You're a tough little nut, Russ. Sorry if I freaked you out at first. We all got our way of coping with shit, right? I guess I can come across a bit... Ah, whatever. I guess. There you go. Relax. We're gonna have some fun. Why don't you tell me where you were before you got here? Fine. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They are all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. If we found survivors, it was the same every time. He... He... Let it out, Paco. Just, we gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang, they'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? Strong six. Just tell me something about her. How was the rack? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I'll put it right in here. Sure, whatever. Sure, whatever? Come on. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on. Scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah, slamming before she was rotten, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. Fuck! Ah, ah, like a nine, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Oh, hell! If you say five, I'm gonna flip. Ah, Tell me, Russ. Five! Fucking five! Oh, come on, man! Damn it. Did you load that? Bullets in the glove there. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. Alright. Oh 
shit! Go! Get out! Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! Okay, get ready! Don't stop running! And keep your head down! Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. All right, what are we gonna do? First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Down! See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. All right, yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Shit! Just keep pushing! Shit! Push! Uh, end of the road. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously, this time. I'm not fucking around. You gonna cover me? If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you wanna go first, that's fine too. I'll cover you. You go first. Just shoot at the window and keep that fucker's head down till I get where I'm going. Then throw me the gun, and I'll do the same. Ready? Yeah. You ready, Russ? Cover my ass now. Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire! All right, throw me the gun, and I'll cover you. Get over there and we should be good. Go! Thanks. We're not done yet. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this asshole. Follow me. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home-cooked meal, all right? Come on. Watch out for that. What's the problem? No problem. Then come on. Russ, come on. Okay, it's clear. Keep your head down and follow me. You got it. All right. We're going to be fucking quiet. We're going to sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out. Fucking beep. Let's go. I see him. Check through the window. See if there's anyone else. I think I saw a guy. No shit. Ugh! <sighs> 
out! Oh! Get the fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And, and now you're with this fucking spook! First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food! You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. We've never been here, sir. Then who shot my wife? Wasn't us. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please, just get the fuck out of here. Please, leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? Are you serious? Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up! There are real fucking monsters out there! No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I see! Fuck you, Nate! I saved your ass! You didn't do shit! Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on! Can we still be friends? No. going to make it. What do we do now? I don't care. If we're stuck here, we should at least look around. Maybe we can find something to help us get out of here. Knock yourself out. stuff. Let me see. Oh, my God. 
trying to kill my mom. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer and he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. And I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. Everyone I grew up with, it all happened to them. Now, it's gonna happen to us. We're all so fucked. We'll make it. Bullshit. I mean, what's the point? We'll just march to some new place and somebody else will die. It's never gonna stop. Eventually, it'll be our turn. I can't believe we've been here a day. A day. It's been a day, right? Hey, kid. Have a drink with me. To Peter Joseph Randall, the nicest mean old bastard I ever knew. <laughs> Listen, they're not coming for us. You should go. Run for it. What, what are you gonna do? Stay here. I'm tired. Go find Luke and the rest. I knew someone like you. He was always screwing up too. Screwing up? I didn't ask for any of this. Nobody does. But so what? Come with me. Are you kidding? And leave all this? You can't just sit here and die. Why not? What does it matter? You still have Luke and everyone else. They're family. Nick, I need your help. Please. You're right. Yeah. Now look, if we get separated, cabin's only half a mile from here. You can't miss it. You ready? <laughs> Fuck it. Are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? We got attacked. By who? Walkers. Jesus! Pete got killed. 
I was with Nick, but... Thank God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there. Get the guns. Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. And don't tell her anything. Just go. Hurry. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? They're just fishing. I know that's not true. Show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Okay, but it's not a toy. I know. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay, what do I do? The most important thing is, when you go to shoot, Take a breath before you pull the trigger. <sighs> Not that big. <sighs> what should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s 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 Sorry! Sorry! Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back! My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? Would you please leave? place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. I'm alone. Really? Yeah. I take care of myself. Well, I'm impressed. 
Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. I haven't seen him. Well, that's a shame. You sure? Pretty sure. Plates for one person. Looks like a tornado ran through here. I don't ever do the dishes. Hey, well, believe me, I don't either. Just passing through, or you've been here a while. Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Just passing through, going north. Whole lot of people headed that way lately. Me, I don't get it. There's just as much nothing up there as there is down here. Have you been north? Well, not since. Before, but I've heard things. Where does this go? Uh, in the drawer there. It's a real nice place, kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Well, well, White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. I didn't hear anything. Nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me ask you this: When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Well, wait, who are you? You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back?
We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. You were with Nick, right? We gotta go find him. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. He said his name was George. George? That's what he said. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, sure. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. You told me to distract her. Distract? Sarah. So I'm just an idiot? I thought we were friends. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Where are we going? Anywhere but here. Into the mountains, maybe. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Look, we gotta find Nick on our way out of here. You know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? <laughs> That's where we were. Nick! Get the door. Jesus. Oh, hey, man. You got any aspirin? Nick, you asshole. It's dead. 
No, no, man, I do. We gotta get moving. Okay, Carver's gang showed up. Can you make it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, let's go. Hey, Clem. I just wanted to say, thanks for not giving up on me. Don't worry about it. I won't forget it. What happened back there in that cellar? Did he do something stupid? Look, he can tell me. Nick saved my life. Really? Yeah, sort of. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start. I don't have anywhere else to go. Well then, welcome to the party. Yeah, thanks. We're, uh, we're smarter than we look. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. see something. We've been walking for a damn week. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. Here, eat this back. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? It must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm going to sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just... I can really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. They're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you... You can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not going to get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. Seems like we're already in the middle of it. Tell me about it. Hmm. Can't 
can't shoot them. Too much noise. Let's take them. I like your style. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. Pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <clears throat> nice work, kid. <clears throat> Clem. Let's keep going. You see him? Yeah. Just play it cool. You did the talking. What? Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. What should I say? I don't know. Ask him for directions. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. I'm Clementine, and this is Luke. Clementine and Luke. Huh. 
You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. I'm not an asshole. Well, are you calling me an asshole? <laughs> you folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. They all look the same. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 he's, he's with us. Nick! No! Nick, no! I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why did you shoot? He pointed a gun at me. Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. 